Good evening. We are so delighted you have joined us for this concert, The Many Colors of Choral Music. Now, I know you might be wondering what color has to do with choral music. Actually, that's a word we use regularly. The fancy French term is timbre, T-I-M-B-R-E. It looks like timbre, but is actually pronounced timbre. It has to do with the unique sound of music. The music for our program tonight has been selected to show you several different colors of choral sound that are possible with a group of singers. We start with a historic view. Going back to the 16th century, our next piece is a Renaissance work that shows the reserved, reverential, and almost hollow sound of this time period. Choral music back then was a cappella with composers following the strict guidelines for composition set by the church. Following Yesu Dulcis, we move into Baroque, the era of great composers like J.S. Bach and George Friedrich Handel. Polyphony was the compositional technique of the day, and you'll notice each section singing its own melody, yet the genius of the composer makes all the parts work together beautifully. Notice the difference in timbre between these two pieces. Secret of her. 